Now that we did the arms, I'm going to teach you how to put the bands on your legs. The leg bands are slightly wider, but again, we want a narrow cuff. We don't want a rigid, thick cuff. We want a narrow, elastic cuff. That's the beauty of Katsu. So the leg bands are a little bit longer to accommodate the girth of your leg. Again, you want that tube to be going down. When you apply this to your leg, if it's going up, it may kink and it may slow down the flow in and out. We're gonna start with the non-dominant side again. So, left leg. Let me see your left leg. There go. Just like the arms with your legs, you also wanna be slightly relaxed. So, you can have the person standing if you need to, but ideally you would like to have them sitting down. So, I'm going to pay attention to where that tube is. Slide this around the person's leg. You take one end, you go through the other end, so you're just like that. And you want this as high up in the thigh as possible. So this is where you ask your subject to uh, slide this up their thigh as far as possible. So notice how I'm having Steve kind of slide his leg forward a little bit if possible so you get that way up in there. You're gonna pull on one side, pull on the other side, and strap them down, just like that. Pretty simple, okay? So again, with your base pressure, you want it nice and snug. You relax it if it's too tight, or you can tighten down if you want to go a little bit tighter. So, pull the whole thing out. Note where that tube is coming down. So you want that pointing down toward the feet. There you go. there, thread one through there, just like that. So slide it up into your thigh, adjust your shorts, your pants, your underwear, and everything else in between. Pull one side down nice and tight, pull the other side down. There you go. From there, go ahead and put the cycle on your belt so you don't drop it. Put it somewhere. There you go. Yes, sir. Go ahead and hook it up. Same thing with the arms, you may need to wiggle it around, push down the button, snap it in there, you should hear it click. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what you do is you take that, same thing where you push in there, wiggle it around, click. Feel that click. Now that we're doing the legs, the pressure can be a little bit higher than your arms. Again, if this is your first time, start low and work your way up. With Steve, this is his first time. We started on the group low for the arms. So we can go ahead and maybe try the group medium for the legs. With the legs, just like the hands, you want to use your small muscles in your fingers, your elbows, and your shoulders. So with the legs, same things. You want to wiggle your toes, scrunch your toes, go up and down on your ankles. So push down on the gas, lift your toes up, and you can kick your legs out. Squeeze your thigh muscles, pull them back. You don't want to squeeze your legs so far straight where you lock it out and feel tight, but you just want to lightly push through range of motion. You will start to feel the muscles in your legs start to swell up, just like your arms did. Same thing with your arms. You want to check capillary refill time. You do that by pressing down on that quad muscle. So right on the front of that thigh there, you can push down. Now, in Steve's case, he's wearing pants, so I can't see that. So I'm gonna ask him how he feels. We'll talk about if he feels lightheaded. I can always look down at his ankles or his calves and check that. One of the easiest and best exercises you can do with Katsu is to just simply walk. With the Katsu cycle, the beauty is it can go with you wherever you go. So you can go for a walk outside, you can go for a walk on a treadmill, you can ride a bike, whatever you wanna do. So, walking nice and light, or if you don't have anywhere to go, you can simply just do some heel raises, toe raises, maybe a standing march. For some of my older patients, I'll have them hang on to a chair for balance, and just have them simply go through leg movements. They can bring their legs up, knees up, toes up for a march. You can try to bring your heel to your butt, for like a butt kick, or you can simply just do light squats. Anything where you're contracting the muscles in your legs, you're gonna notice
is a nice muscle pump. How does that feel? It feels great. I feel my legs, the muscles in my legs pumping up. Mm -hmm. If you need to, you can always adjust the tube here. They have a little piece of Velcro where you can stick it somewhere along the bands or you can just let it hang. Again, paying attention to where your tubes are so that you don't catch on anything. Now we're gonna go over how to put the bands on yourself. When I put the bands on Steve, he kind of did it himself, but I really want to talk you through the best way to do this to yourself. Again, I find it most convenient to go ahead and click on the tubes to the bands before you put them on. It makes it a little bit easier just so you don't have to try to reach around and click things on. Best way to do this, when you pull this in there, you're going to pull one strap as tight as you can, pull it over. So there's a strap with the Katsu logo on that. That's the one you're going to pull for first. Whether you're going to do overhand pull or pull underhand, whatever is easiest on you, pull that as tight as you can, lay that down, and then you can just align the other one underneath. Perfect. How does that feel? Great. You may need to adjust that around your thigh. Remember to keep that band as high up in your thigh as you can. There you go. That's easy. Simple enough. One thing to remember is that with this clip, you may have to adjust where the band sits. If that clip is impinging on your skin anywhere, when you're doing squats, it may be slightly uncomfortable. So all you have to do is slide that band around and put that clip towards the outside. This is the clip I'm talking about. If that's on the front of that thigh there when you're doing squatting, it may kind of irritate you a little bit. So you may need to take that and slide it around to where that's on the outside there. That's going to be the best way to avoid that.